Today I will tell you four tips how to set up your flight computer. I'm using XCSOR, I'm using XCSOR on the smartphone because it's an open source and free software which you can use on your Android device um, and I also use XCSOR on my Stefly OpenVario Glide computer in both of our gliders. So um, the last four years or so I'm only flying with XCSOR, it is really a great software. You have everything you need to make a competition flight for a cross-country flight or even something different. So let's get into it. Tip number one. You have the possibility to set up different pages and the goal is to have all the important information on one page when you're flying um, let's say on a specific period of your flight. So I have different types of pages for the normal um, cruise flight, for the uh, thermal flight, then also for um, the airspace, for the final glide, and perhaps even for assigned area tasks. So for a specific type of task in a competition, you can make a specific page. This really helps you a lot so that you only have the most important points here on the screen and that it is easier to find what you're looking for. Then let's get to tip number two. I make one main page and copy it to the other pages and then I only change the info boxes which I want to change. So um, there it is great because then you have the position of the info boxes on every page the same. So if I want to have um, on the airspace page um, some information like flight level, I will exchange the flight level info box with another one which I don't need um, like estimate time of arrival or so. It is much easier when you quickly look at your navigation device um, to see the specific value you are looking for. Then let's get to point number three. For me, it is so important to know the settings of the software. Um, so everyone who flies with XCSOR or with a glide computer uh, from, a, from a club glider, everyone needs to know how the setup is. So especially the safety factors are so important. If you have, let's say, 200 meters of safety altitude, in the system and you don't know, then it really doesn't help and it may even be dangerous. So really take your time um, to make the setup and perhaps in a club try to make different profiles um, which are perhaps even with a, a password protected. And then let's get to the final tip. Let's get to tip number four. It is so important to uh, train using the software. There are two different options available. The first and easy one is to use the simulator in XCSOR. Um, there you can simulate that the glider is in the air, that you glide in a specific direction. There you can see all the info boxes, uh, the, yeah, the cross section of the airspace and so on. That's very useful, but not really the best option. What's really perfect is to use your Condor Soaring setup and to connect it with your device and then you can fly perhaps even a competition and see how it works, which info boxes you really need and um, yeah, so this is really the best setup. In my case I'm using an open vario device connected to Condor and there you need a serial converter, USB to serial converter and then it works here with uh, smartphones, with Android devices, there's the possibility to use a Bluetooth dongle uh, or Bluetooth connection. And so it is not really expensive to use it with Condor and it really helps a lot so that you are really familiar with the software when you are flying the first time with it. Because in the air you really want to look out, you don't want to focus too much on your navigation device because it's dangerous and it distracts a lot. Um, yeah, A lot of you ask me if I can publish my info box setup and my Axie source settings. Um, I think it's not really interesting to go through every specific um, info box here in this video, but I 
uploaded uh, my profiles from the open Vario and also from the smartphone um, to my web page where you can download them for free and then you can see if it works for you as well perhaps you have some preferences so you want to change um, some info boxes but it is a good initial um, setup most probably also for you so check out the link in the description below and then we'll see you next time hopefully from the air that's the place where i made my spectacular glider touchdown in the ls8e neo uh, which has more than 22 million views at the moment so let's get lower the gear and let's get some speed and make a nice landing Sure, if I can't can land so smooth. 